During an interview with the Fox Business Network, Rep. Louis Gohmert, R. Texas, raised the possibility that Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein is under investigation for his role in the Uranium One scandal As the Gateway pundits Joe Hoft previously reported, prior to the Obama administration approving the very controversial deal in 2010 giving Russia 20 percent of America's uranium, the FBI had evidence that Russian nuclear industry officials were involved in bribery, kickbacks, extortion and money laundering in order to benefit Vladimir Putin, says a report by The Hill From the report we found out that the investigation was supervised by then-U.S. Attorney Rod Rosenstein, who is now President Trump's Deputy Attorney General, and then-Assistant FBI Director Andrew McCabe, who is now the Deputy FBI Director under Trump We also know that Robert Mueller was the head of the FBI at this time, and he even hand-delivered uranium to Russia on an airport tarmac before the Uranium One deal went through The Hill's John Solomon reported that the Obama Justice Department failed to call on the deal's secret informant, William D. Campbell, when it came time to charging former Russian uranium industry executive Vadim Mikrin. While he was Maryland's chief federal prosecutor, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein's office failed to interview the undercover informant in the FBI's Russian nuclear bribery case before it filed criminal charges in the case in 2014, officials told The Hill, report Solomon I've never heard of such a case unless the victim is dead I've never heard of prosecutors making a major case and not talking to the victim before you made it, especially when he was available to them through the FBI," Alan Dershowitz told The Hill